Hi guys, welcome to Cramble. We've been celebrating the 4th of July doing loads of different American style food and we're gonna finish that off with the epitome of American dessert, the pecan pie. And we're gonna serve it with some vanilla ice cream. It's really easy to make. The recipe's on cramble.com. First job we need to do to get this cracking on with is get our pastry rolled out and blind baked. So you want a floured surface and then you want to get your pastry onto that floured surface. I've been a massive cheat and I've bought some pastry. You can make it if you want, but if you can buy it as good as you can make it, then I would suggest buying it. It saves time. And then you just want to roll it out to fit your tart case, which is this. It has a loose bottom so we can get it out. Right, so our pastry's rolled out nice and thin and then we want to get it into here. Now, how do you take that and put it into there? So here's a little tip. Flour your rolling pin and then just roll your pastry back over your rolling pin, like so. Bring your tart case in and then you just unravel it over the top of our case. Really easy. And then take a corner of your pastry because you don't want to be poking it with your fingers because at risk of breaking it. And make a little, I don't even know what that's called, a little puncher, I suppose. And then just use that to tuck your pastry into the corners whilst, whilst feeding it in. Okay? That way you get it right into the corners, your fingers don't stick to it, it just looks better. So you can see the ridges of that ribbed tart case while we're using this little technique. Really simple. And then any broken bits at the top, because what will happen is when you put this in the oven, it'll shrink. So you've got to make sure you leave this overhang and we can trim that off once it's cooked. But if you've got any pieces like this that are a little bit broken, just take a little bit of pastry and just push it on there. Nice and easy. And then we want to grab a knife and we just want to trim it a tiny bit just so it's manageable. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to whack this in the fridge for like five, ten minutes just to rest before we get it in the oven to blind bake. Cool. So that's going to rest for about 15, 20 minutes. Then we're going to get it into blind bake. In the meantime, I'm going to crack on with the filling. It's really, really easy. Traditional kind of cake base, but totally not. So into a bowl, butter and sugar. And then I'm just going to start it like that. So that's creamed together. So next we just have to add our, add our syrups. So I'm going to weigh these out. Live weigh in, that boxing. 175 grams of each which might seem like an awful lot. There we go, 175 grams of that. So I'm just gonna, this is so unhealthy for you. This is so unhealthy for you. But you know what, we're in America and I'm not saying that Americans are unhealthy before anybody starts. And then golden syrup, 175 grams of that. So we'll stir that in. So it start to come together, it'll start to look like that. If any of you have made sort of treacle tart, it's that kind of, that kind of vibe, you want it all velvety, you want all that butter broken down. Right, and then add your eggs one by one. Give it a tickle, get it incorporated. What you should do is crack these into another bowl, but me being the maverick that I am, I'm just going balls out and getting them in. So whisk that in, and then we'll add our flour. Gently again, so it doesn't go everywhere starting to get thicker now you can see that lovely lovely sweetness and then once it's all incorporated or nearly all incorporated I'm just gonna get my spatula back and just stir everything else in and now I'm gonna add the pecans a big old lump of pecan nuts straight in and then I'm just gonna let that sit to one side until we've blind baked our pastry and we're good to pour in so now our mix is made, I'm gonna get my tart case out. It's been resting for 20 minutes. Nice, that's firmed up nice. You can see all the lovely little ridges where we've pushed that pastry into our tart case. So now we're gonna blind bake our pastry, which means baking the pastry before we add our filling. So I've got some greaseproof paper. I'm gonna make a cartouche, origami. So fold, so get a square, fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it in half again. And then you have this amazing aeroplane. No, you don't really. So measure it up to the middle like so, and then just take the edge off. And then that just sits inside that tart case. Now we need to use some baking beans. If you haven't got baking beans, you can use rice, you can use couscous. I'm gonna eat, well, not normal couscous, because it'll burn. I'm gonna use giant couscous, because it's got a bit bigger weight to it. 
And then you just want to pat it out just to make sure that all those corners are filled in with that weight. So now we go into the oven, 170 degrees for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So that tart case has been blind baking for 15 minutes. Let's have a look. Lovely. So what we need to do now is carefully remove this blind baking bit. You see we have a little tart case. Now I'm just going to prick the bottom of it. A little prick. Go back in the oven for a further five to ten minutes and then we are good to go. Oh, in. Okay, so the pastry's been in for a further ten minutes. It's cracked a little bit, but that doesn't, don't worry about that because we're just going to peel this off at the end anyway. So now we're going to add our pecan pie mix. Just distribute out all those pecan nuts. And then we want to get this in for ten minutes at 190 just to start it off. And then we drop our oven to 140 and bake for a further 35 minutes. So the pecan pie has been in the oven for about 40 minutes. Let's have a little look. Wow, Yankee doodle dandy. So I've just got to let this cool now for about 40 minutes. Don't forget your beard bib for when we get involved with some vanilla ice cream later on. And remember kids, God bless America. So now our pecan pie has been resting for about an hour, an hour and a half. It's nice and cool. So we're ready to trim it up and serve it up. So just a little pastry hack. When you have overhanging pastry around the edge of your tarts like this, if you just use a peeler, so if you just use your peeler and then any excess pastry that's stuck on there, you can just brush away. Cool, so to take it out, if you've got a loose bottom tin, just get a, a tin or a whatever underneath it and then it just comes away. Just go through, it's really sticky and gooey. Awesome. And then, on and then some vanilla ice cream. Go. Wowzer, I can't wait to get stuck into that. Nice little bit of uh, vanilla ice cream on there, absolutely delicious. Give it a go. Recipes on the website crumble.com.